It's April 27th, 2020, and this is No Sports, Day 46. This time around, there's really only one topic I'd like to discuss, and that is the premise that these tough times are revealing our truest of character. I realize what's happening right now has our world completely turned upside down. These times are unprecedented, they're unnatural, and they are uncomfortable going through the COVID-19 pandemic. Not just the worry about physical health and well-being for yourself, for others, for your family, but also the mental side of this, the mental challenge of this. And I think facing it all is making most people revert to the people they actually are during normal times, reverting even harder, maybe even magnifying who they are to a deeper degree right now than they normally are, if that makes sense. And I realize some of you have lived through a crisis like this before, whether it's a natural disaster or even the terrorist attacks of September 11th. The fallout and the recovery period puts people in awkward and difficult and different situations. And because of that, who you really are comes out, I think, more than normal. I mean, as of late, people who are caring and creative, they've been as caring and creative as you may expect. I think there's been a lot of great examples of people doing things for others that they wouldn't normally do, like it wasn't far from their mind, but now they're actually getting the time to do it. And maybe free time is part of this. Free time is revealing a lot of personal character. There have also been people who have shown to be very generous during these times. They've found ways to donate. It's amazing in a time period of the last seven weeks when money is an uncertainty. The economy is an uncertainty. Paychecks are an uncertainty. But yet, if there's a GoFundMe page of somebody who really needs it, You're not seeing any difference that the money total is adding up quite quickly because people are caring and they're saying, despite the situation, despite my own question marks, I know what's right. And so generosity has definitely been shown. But on the flip side, you're also seeing some who are very self-centered during normal times. And now here they are during a pandemic and they're not afraid to just dismiss the ask of staying six feet away, socially distanced from others. They don't care. They've had enough. They don't think they are um, under the rules anymore. Not only that, they're not even afraid to post pictures of that, share it, pretend like nothing is happening, pretend like the world is not going through this together. It's kind of amazing. But again, it's a magnification of who people really are, even in normal times. I would also take it to this extent, people who are super partisan, they're super political in normal times. It's amazing how a pandemic can be driven in the direction of politics hard. Now, I realize there are some certain elements of of political play that are happening here. There's no question, but it's that's more to the response than the actual action of what's happening here. It's just amazing, though. People who always want to be political during normal times are going extra hard on the political aspect of the coronavirus right now. Personality traits, I realize some out there are general worriers. These are even more hard times for them right now. There's a lot of things to be concerned about. And I would also say there are some who are just naturally oblivious to things in life. Couldn't care less about a lot of things. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's certainly a talent in some ways. I think it's detrimental in other ways. But yeah, we've we've pretty much seen the entire spectrum of this. So again, the bigger point here, who you normally are is being magnified during these times. I should also add, it's not just about individuals right now. I'm also discussing businesses and companies and enterprises as well. What are they doing during these times? To not only take care of their employees, but also their customers. I think their priorities right now 
are becoming super clear. And when we do eventually get back to normality, should we really remember these times? I think we should. Because those that are generous, thoughtful, caring, um, out in front of it, that's a lot different than some of the negative examples we've seen to companies that are just like, hey, not our problem. You guys are on your own. And I'm not just talking employees. I'm talking customers too. And I don't blame anybody. These have been hard times. Nobody truly expected or predicted or necessarily planned for this. I totally understand. But I'm also here to say that you can definitely tell the character of a company right now and the way they're handling this as a measure of who they truly are when life goes back to normal. So that's it. These times definitely displaying some truths to a lot deeper extent right now. Hard to believe that we're coming up on 50 days of no sports and about 50 days of a pretty crazy life existence. Quite honestly, we're 50 days in. There could easily be another 50 to go. We just don't know right now. This has been No Sports, Day 46.